Okay, this tutorial is for factoring larger degree polynomials still in section 4.3. And if you look on page 129, it gives you a summary of what, you're, what you need to do four major points uh, that you do when you're factoring larger degree polynomials. Starting with making sure that whatever you're trying to factor is in dis decreasing order. Of course, if we didn't have an x there, so if we didn't have negative 11x, if we didn't have any x term, you always have to put a zero in there. There has to be all the terms represented. So be careful of that. That's the first point to make. Then you make a list of factors. Now, how do you make a list of factors? You look at all the factors of the first term, and that's going to be the factors that go with the x in the binomial. And you look at the factors of the last term, and that's going to be the factors of the single number that goes in the binomial. So x minus 1, x minus 2, or whatever. And of course, if we look at our case here, what are the factors of 2? Factors of 2 are 1 and 2. Okay, so that means you can have 1x or x, or you can have factors of 2x as well. Okay, what are the factors of 4? Well, the factors of 4 are 1 and 4, 2 and 2. So factors of 4, 1, 2, and 4. So that means we have the possibility of 1 as our number, so x uh, minus 1 or x plus 1 or 2x minus 1 or 2x plus 1, and 2 also and 4. So we make a list of all possibles that can happen. So x minus 1 and x plus 1, because it could be either sign. So that's, I'm using the x's, x minus 2, x plus 2. Okay, so x is being here. And of course, x minus 4, x plus 4. Okay, now we can move to the, we've done the, the x factor. Now let's do the 2x factor. 2x minus 1, 2x plus 1. 2x minus 2, 2x plus 2. 2x minus 4, 2x plus 4. Now we can see that you can take a common factor out here. If we take a common factor of 2 out here, this becomes x minus 1 and x plus 1. So that's the same as these. So we can take these out because they're repeats. If we take a common factor out here, this becomes x minus 2 and x plus 2 for this one down here, which are the same as these. So we can take out any repeats. So now that we have a list of factors, once we get the list of factors that are possible, remember the factors of x are coming from this term, and the factors of the number in the binomial are coming from this term, we then now use synthetic division to, to check and see if it works out without a remainder. If it works out without a remainder, that would mean one of these would be our factor. So I'm going to choose in my first try or first trial, I'm going to use x plus 1 just because it's easy to use. So I'm going to try this one first. x plus 1, if I equal that to 0, that gives me x equal to negative 1. So I put negative 1 up here. Okay, put all my coefficients in here. Okay, and make sure they're in the descending order, and then work it out. 2, okay, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus negative 5 is negative 7. Negative 1 times negative 7 is positive 7. Positive 7 uh, plus negative 11 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 1 is 4. So this becomes 0. So because we have, yes indeed, we have a factor. So x plus 1 is one of our factors. So now we can do this same thing here. We now know that this quotient here is 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. We can do a synthetic division. Okay, it still has the two leading coefficients, so it's going to be the same possible factors as we used up here. So I'm going to choose It's unlikely that, because I know the answer already, I'm choosing factors that work to make it quicker in my example. But if you get a non-zero there, then it doesn't work, and then you would go on and choose another factor. So in our case here, we have, I'm going to choose, let's say, um, x equal to, let's go with this one, x minus 4. So x minus 4, so x equals 4. So I'll put a 4 here. 
So bring the two down. Four times two is eight. This becomes one. Four times four is four. This becomes zero. So this works. So our factor of x minus four works. And then what's left over is two x plus one. So our factors, two x plus one, our total factors are x plus one times x minus four times two x plus one. And that's how you do synthetic, or use synthetic division and factor larger degree polynomials. I think I've got enough time on the tape here to squeeze through another one real quick. Actually, you know, looking at it right now, I think I'll pause it here and put it on the next tutorial.